Hello there, it's Ted Peregrine 4, or Jacob, here with another video. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while, and I will get to that. Um, but I am doing something a little bit different today. Rather than playing and working on my castle, um, I'm actually not playing vanilla Minecraft at all. I'm playing a mod pack called Crash Landing, um, which is on the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, you, if you would like to play, which I'd recommend you do. It's a, ton of fun. Uh, you just Google Feed the Beast, download the launcher, go to third party packs and uh, can play Crash Landing. Uh, so I've already got a world generated here. Uh, I believe all the worlds generate exactly the same, but Hello and welcome. anyway. I am IMPA. Guess I'll let you listen to, be to this. A precise, intelligent, multi-purpose assistant. I am here to aid and guide you. Oh, that stopped. Uh, he talks for quite a while, but anyway. So, uh, this entire um, mod pack is based around your fight for survival. Uh, so pretty much this is your ship uh, that crash landed on this desert, this planet here, and um, you have to survive uh, despite all odds. So um, there, they've added a lot of challenges to it. Um, for example, you have to stay hydrated, um, and like you can see right here, I have a water bar, uh, I guess I'll call it a water bar for lack of a better term, but, um, yeah, uh, other options as you notice. It's not exactly a great way to get food. Uh, and so, quite often are you on the, the brink of starvation constantly. Um, I, th I think, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think that hunger drains slower on this, but... In addition to that, um, there the mobs that spawn are much more difficult, and there are more variants. Um, there aren't really any more mobs, but there are variants of the mobs. Like, uh, for example, there are miniature ghasts that spawn that have like creepers and spiders on their back, and they'll just come and attack you and they do a lot of damage. Um, and they have like miniature spiders, flying spiders, um, poisonous spiders just randomly spawn. Uh, which this is also in hardcore mode, so if you die, it's game over. Um, because of how hard it is to survive, they do have a mod called Sync, which pretty much allows you to have doppelgangers of yourself. Um, so if you do die, you just go into the body of the doppelganger. However, um, it's, it's, you have to like grow the doppelganger and it takes time and energy and um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult. Um, I've died plenty of times before when I played, uh, which I played months ago, uh, and it's been updated since then, so. Uh, but yeah, I haven't recorded in a while because I've been busy with school and then I had Thanksgiving break, so I went to see my family and don't have nearly as good of internet there, so back at home, so I'm certainly not going to upload there. I'm miserable. Um, 
Yeah, so you see my camel pack here is just slowly draining. Um, I've gotten this first day down to kind of a science, though. Just from all the times I've played before, but... Yeah, there we go. I definitely would recommend this mod pack to everyone. It's tons of fun. Uh, you will rage, though. It's very easy to die. Um, which the reason I'm harvesting so much of this dust is because you can use it to get resources. You can sift the dust and get little bits of metals and other stuff. Um, something that I find pretty funny is you can sift fish out of the dust. Just randomly fish in dry dust. But Yeah. Uh, for the time being, um, I'm just going to live inside the crashed ship. Um, it'll be it'll be a little while before I can sort of build my own structure and move into that. Um, and there'll be uh, grindy parts that I will skip, where I'm just not doing anything other than you know, sifting dust, which is absolutely tedious. Yeah, I'm actually I'm still in school, so um, I still have exams coming up. But I found a little bit of time to play, and really wanted to play something. Um, played actually a little bit of Civ over Civ Five over the weekend, uh, and that was a lot of fun. Civ's a great game. I really enjoy it. I needed fun mail. There we go. So, some of these, uh, some of these quests you can be pretty cheesy with, like. Can manually submit that and then immediately get this because uh, you're meant to boil the dirty water bottle and get a clean water bottle, but it just checks to see if you have a water bottle. So, also, you have two options here you can either do the easy route or the hard route. The hard route just gives you a little bit of needle gun ammo, bone meal, and two saplings. The easy route gives you two saplings, but an oak sapling, a lot more ammo, a whole stack of bone meal, PB&J sandwich, and the stuff to go ahead and immediately make a doppelganger, which I don't feel like getting an hour in and dying and quitting, so I'm going to go with this one. So, hopefully that doesn't come across as cheap, but... 
take so much work to do anything on this. Where does this have to be? Oh, there we go. Yeah, when you give it like a DNA sample, it hurts you a little bit, so. Yep. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and Ah, uh, okay. Um, one thing that makes sense, but sort of unfortunate, because uh, it makes it a lot more difficult is um, wooden tools only have two durability. So if you make a uh, wood axe, you get to use it twice before it breaks. Same with sword, same with all that stuff. It's really unforgiving. Um, There's also a mod, I, I think it's called Diminishing Returns, um, not entirely sure what it's called, but it makes it so, um, after you've eaten a certain amount of food, so you see how it says Diminishing return starts after eating any food 36 more times, so pretty much while you're still getting sort of a grasp on the world. Um, it doesn't take into effect, but after I eat 36 things, um, then, then, uh, if you eat too much food, too, or one type of food too frequently, uh, it loses its sort of effectiveness. Um, so, like, uh, Bread is one of the easier things to make once you get established. Um, so if you make um, a bunch of bread, if you eat more than five of it in like 20 times, if the if you eat something five times within the last 20 times you've eaten stuff, it starts becoming less effective as a food source. Um, so you've eaten it six times in the last 20 times um, then it only gives you 80% of the, its normal effectiveness and then 7 is 60 and so on so on so um, and once you've eaten it too much it just doesn't fill your bar at all uh, it doesn't do anything in fact so it's pretty harsh Well, I'm going to wait up the night, and I'm just going to sit here and sit dust. So, I will be back to you when there's something to do. Just as a uh, quick side note while I'm sitting here sifting um, at night, the reason I blocked off that uh, leaking pyrotheum that was all over the ground um, is because it catching stuff on fire will cause creepers to randomly explode outside. Uh, mob creeping is off.
so like creepers can't blow through anything and endermen can't take blocks um, however they can actually uh, damage you through the walls and kill you uh, also um, it might seem a little bit cheap that I've already got a uh, doppelganger um, however you only get one um, until you have um, a sustainable source of energy. So you get one death until you can sort of provide to make your your own again. So it's not too cheap. It is convenient though because I don't know if you can see on that mini map. But there are a ton of spiders right on top of me. Wow, look at all that. Yeah, you see that gas with the creeper right in the middle of it? That's a creeper riding a ghast around. And the creeper will deliver him to me to blow me up. So. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just throw all this stuff I got. a little bit. Spider is. That's evil, though. See how little damage this is doing. Reason you have to sort of as that bastard. This is a tough spider. T oh my god! I simply do not have the ammo. I don't know what I can do like this other than just run away and. Running uses too much food and water, so I should try to avoid that best I can. Ooh, how do you get that string? I don't know if you can craft bows or not. Like regular bows, that guy's still there. Oh 
my god, he's still there. I don't know what to do about this. Is he gone? Oh, I really hope he's gone. Excitement. So the fact that this grew a giant tree right off the bat is fairly inconvenient. Uh, just because during the second day, spending this much time on a tree is sort of So over this past weekend, I installed a 240 gig solid state drive on my laptop. I, um, uh, I have, my laptop has two hard drive bays, um, and it came with a it came with two one terabyte hard drives. Um, however, they were. 5,400 RPM hard drive, so a lot of storage, but a lot of slow storage, um, which is sort of inconvenient. Um, so I replaced the primary hard drive with an SSD. So I went and I reinstalled Windows just completely. Um, completely reinstalled Windows. Um, I may have made a few too many of these. That was weird. Uh, completely reinstalled Windows. Uh, and when I downloaded Origin and Steam, um, I started Telling them to just install games. Now on Steam, it's not really a huge issue. Um, I mean, the biggest game I have on Steam would probably be Dead Space 3. I want to say that's 20 gigs. On Origin, I have games like Titanfall and Battlefield 4. So, um, and once I to install, I forgot that they were enormous downloads. Um, so, naturally, it's the majority of the way through Titanfall, like 80%, and I check on it, uh, and my SSD is completely full. Zero remaining space. Um, so I have to cancel the download, lose all progress on everything I've done with Titanfall, um, and I had to make sure Origin was installing that stuff on my uh, secondary hard drive. Okay, so that's for me being hungry. I have no idea why PV and Chase fill you up that much. It's very ridiculous. Uh, but as far as boot time and load times for anything, it's it's so quick. I love it. Um, like. Uh, considering the hard drive I had in here was a uh, 
I mean, first of all, it was just a regular hard drive. And two, it was a pretty slow hard drive, even by standard hard drive speeds. I mean, 5,400 RPMs is... I mean, they only really come in 5,400 and 7,200 RPM. But it's, it's significant between the two. Upgrading this SSD was just great. Uh, however, I, feel, I do have to be more storage conscious. Like right now, I'm just recording straight to uh, my secondary hard drive, which is plenty of space. Um, even after installing quite a few games to it, uh, it still has. 700 uh, gigs left on it, so plenty of space. Um, yeah, solid states are good stuff. My roommate um, built a gaming PC and he put a solid state in uh, his computer. Um, and Sorry about that there. Um, my recording ran out because uh, I have a 10 minute limit because I'm still using the free version of Bandicam. If this were a normal sized tree, I could have had a couple of seats planted by now. Have I got any silkworms? Nothing spawned yet. I don't know if I should risk staying out here much longer. Probably not. Uh, yeah, look at that water. And I don't have any more to put in, so. Which wood do I get? Oh, I got a fair bit of wood. Didn't realize I'd gotten so much. So what these barrels do um, is you t can take organic matter, like these saplings, fill them in there, and it'll compost and give you more dirt. So you can have more trees. Um, but. I'll be back again in just a moment once uh, this night is over. Oh wait, and if I hang these up, they'll dry into jerky. So, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> 